of Scotland has been a meeting place for thousands of years. In the mid-19th century, it was a key centre of the Enlightenment and had become a city of ideas and achievement and breweries, 41 of them. It was also home to one George Lorimer, who inherited his father's estate and founded the Caledonian Brewery in 1868. Lorimer knew that to get brilliant beer, you need the right people, and brought in Robert Clark, one of Edinburgh's top brewers, to help. Together, they established a brewery that has outlasted all the other breweries in the city. The brew house was built on Slateford Road, where the red brick buildings were as distinctive as its beers. The team at the Caledonian took their work seriously and set out to make refreshing beers from authentic ingredients. They knew everything there was to know about malt and mashing, hops and heat, finings and fermenting. No matter what technology could do, it would always be people who made the difference. Today, Caledonian beers are made by people who care as much as the first brewers did more than 140 years ago. Every pint starts life with the milling of the grain. Malted barley and grist are then fed into the mash tons. Steam gently heats the grains to the point at which their enzymes turn to sugars. After an hour, the fresh spring water and malt sugars have become wort. The clearer the wort, the better and the more refreshing the beer. The brewing takes place in these great coppers, designed by Victorian engineers. Beneath them, real gas fires do the work. The brewmasters measure the volume much as their forebears would have done. If it works, don't change it. The skills they've inherited are less easy to quantify. These men know that only a slow boil for the wort will guarantee a fine light beer. Caledonian's treasure trove of real hops is kept in the storeroom built when the brewery opened. It's naturally cool and dry thanks to Victorian ventilators. Our hops give subtle flavours and a refreshing zest. A thorough stir and the wort begins its transformation to something more bitter. Another hour or so must pass. The magic of Caledonian beers comes from a distinctive taste balanced by the right strength. The specific gravity is carefully monitored. Having left the coppers, the boiled wort is filtered through more delicate hops in the hop back. Here, handfuls of aromatic hops are added to give the beer its authentic flavour. In the fermenting vessels, yeast is added to the cooled wort. It's here that beer is said to be declared. Just a few more days to go now. Finally, the finished beer is ready for shipping. Every batch must first be checked. It must have the right flavour, colour and distinctive character to qualify as an authentic Caledonian pint. Simple really. Water, grain, hops, yeast and heat. And a century and a half of experience.